boy has a lot happened since I made my last episode at the end of February. First off, I hope everyone watching this is following whatever lockdown guidelines are in effect in your area and that you are staying as safe as you can. I do want you to know that my family and my extended failure band family are all doing okay and we are all adapting to this new life under lockdown. Okay, so this episode is not going to be on recording or mixing techniques. This episode is basically going to be about giving failure fans an update on both our forthcoming vinyl box set and our July concerts, and maybe a little surprise at the end. First, the box set. We know and appreciate that many people have already pre-ordered the box set, and I'm sure all of you who have are wondering what the status of delivering it to you is. We were originally aiming for an early April release, but it is now clear that is not going to take place. So I'm just going to lay it out as plain as I can. I finished mixing and mastering all the audio well over a month ago, and we also finished all the artwork and packaging elements around the same time. All of those elements were shipped off to manufacturing at the very beginning of March. At first it was looking really good. I mean, it was clear we were running about three to four weeks behind our projection of April 7th, but when we received a first round of test pressings from the plant on March 9th, I was feeling fairly optimistic about our chances for an early May release. But then, the coronavirus pandemic hit, and getting information about where our project stood at the pressing plant became much harder to come by. Then we started to get conflicting reports about which plants were staying open and which ones were closing. At this point, the only information I have is that all vinyl plants worldwide are temporarily shut down due to coronavirus. I cannot tell you how gutted this makes me feel. Not just because so many people have pre-ordered, but also because so many of you also got shafted on our last album with the whole Pledge music scandal. It just makes my blood boil that we are having to again come to you with bad news about when you can expect the product you already paid for. But I do know this. No one has stolen our money this time. In reality, this is just going to be a delay and this box set will get manufactured and shipped to you. Now the crappy part is that I can't give you a date yet. What I can tell you is what I've been told. The plant we are currently going with is saying they are planning to get back to work on April 30th. But of course, there might be projects who were probably before us that also didn't get finished and other variables we can't foresee. So there's just no way we can make any kind of prediction on a delivery date for the box set at this point in time. So that's why we have decided as a band that we are just going to go ahead and send out the download codes to the digital versions of the box set to anyone who has already purchased it and to anyone who buys it moving forward this coming Tuesday, April 7th, which was our original ship date. Honestly, it's the least we could do. It's not going to come close to receiving the incredible physical juggernaut that we have lovingly designed for you but at least you will have the digital audio versions to listen to and experience what we have been working really hard on for the last few months for you guys. Now, we are going to hold back the digital versions of the songs on the Outtakes and Rarities album included within the box set because we want you to have at least some new music to hear when you receive the physical box set. So, if you've already purchased, we have your email and you will be receiving an email by Tuesday with your download code. If you purchase now and moving forward, you will also receive the code. Okay, so hopefully that takes care of most of the box set questions. Feel free to ask questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Now, on to the July shows that Failure has planned. Since these shows are still more than 90 days out, we have not heard one way or another from anyone involved. Meaning the shows are not canceled as of now, but that doesn't mean they won't be canceled at some point in the next few weeks. The venues don't know, the promoters don't know, the agents don't know, and we don't know. And that seems to be because most smaller shows in July have not been forced to cancel or reschedule by any of the current stay-at-home orders, because most of those orders expire before July. But, as we have seen, stay-at-home orders are being regularly extended. From the band's point of view, we are preparing as if the shows are going to happen, but we don't know if they will at this point. As soon as we receive any concrete information about whether the July shows are happening, 
or being rescheduled, we will pass it along to you immediately. And just FYI, for right now, we are going to use my YouTube channel here and the official Failure Band Facebook page to do any official updates like this. All right. So what's the little surprise I mentioned at the top? Well, I'm not sure of the actual number, but I'm pretty sure there are a lot of you who first heard of Failure in 1996 when MTV added our music video for the song Stuck On You. That video was a very interesting experience for me, not just because I was in it, but also because it was my concept and I ended up editing and post-supervising it. But one thing that has really, really bugged me about the video since the world upgraded to 1080p HD is that the Stuck On You video was finished just a couple years before HD came on the scene and therefore it only existed in standard definition. The video is all about visual beauty and color and to view it upscaled to HD just did not work. I had assumed this was going to be the case forever until the band recently and unexpectedly got our hands on the original 16 millimeter camera negative from the 1996 shoot. I could tell some of the negative had been degraded, but I really wanted to see what was there. So we had all 10,000 feet of negative cleaned, repaired, and scanned. After going through all of the footage, I realized all the takes in the 1996 edit were basically intact. At that point, I really wanted to try and restore the video, but this time to modern resolution levels. So after a lot of work by myself and Mike and Kristen at loudeffects.net, I am super psyched to show you and give you a second world premiere, if that's a thing, of the new and improved version of Failure Stuck on You music video. Enjoy, and I will be back soon with more episodes and updates. Later. Bye.